For centuries, farmers have grown multiple crops in the same field to reduce risk and to produce food and fodder. This practice of combining crops is called intercropping. In semi-arid areas, farmers often sow creeping cowpea varieties at very low densities in between millet, sorghum or maize. Some farmers plant legumes only after the cereal crop is established. These practices leave the soil bare early in the cropping season and allow weeds to grow easily. This is also true for the red or purple flowered striga, a parasitic weed that penetrates the roots and sucks water and nutrients from cereal crops. Striga causes great damage in poor soils where fields are continuously grown with only a cereal crop. When we planted millet as a single crop, it suffered from striga attack and the whole crop was lost as a result of this striga. But recently we learned about a new technique. Truly, new intercropping practices are gaining popularity among farmers in Nigeria, Niger and Mali. Traditionally, we planted millet and cowpea in the same field, but with very wide spacing. We sowed the cowpea three to four ridges apart, but with this improved method, we don't do it like that. Before we take a closer look at how farmers modified their cropping pattern, we need to understand the various benefits that legume crops bring. Legumes, such as cowpea, groundnut and soya bean, provide food and fodder and create income. We harvest the soya beans, thresh them and take them home to make soya beans, cheese and baby food. The same thing with groundnut. When it matures, we harvest and thresh it and sell the straw. We process the groundnut into groundnut oil and sell. Legumes also add nitrogen to the soil and improve soil fertility. In addition, a good ground cover of legumes conserves soil humidity and suppresses striga emergence and development. What is less known is that legumes also act as striga trap crops. The roots of trap crops produce chemicals that stimulate striga seeds to germinate. But unlike cereal crops, trap crops do not allow striga to attach to its roots and so the germinated striga seeds die. Apart from legume crops, tobacco, cotton and sesame are also important trap crops that can be grown as an intercrop. So by growing trap crops, you can actually kill striga seeds in your soil. Let's listen to Abdul Karim Inua from Tikal village in northern Nigeria, who participated in a farmer field school. The roots of the cowpea and groundnut produce chemicals that kill the striga. Little by little, the striga has left our fields, and the few remaining striga plants we hand pull. Now let's take a closer look at how you can improve intercropping. Traditionally, yields of intercrops have always been low because of their low density and shading by the cereal. 
To reduce shading of the legume crop, grow separate rows of legumes and cereals. To maintain the same cereal yield, you can increase the planting density within rows and apply some organic and mineral fertilizer. You can see that we have planted three ridges of soybean and two ridges of sorghum. Next year, by God willing, because the soybeans kill the striker, we will change the ridges of soya beans to the ridges of sorghum, and the soya bean will change it to sorghum. Because of this, you will see changes, and this is what will bring about the death of striker. This sowing pattern gives the legumes more sunlight, which benefits their growth and grain yield. This spacing also makes fertilizer application to the cereal crop easier to target and reduces early competition for light between the two crops. Many farmers fear that increasing the density of legumes will reduce the yield of their cereal crop. But have they actually tried it? Truly speaking, if you stick to this practice of planting the cowpea at close spacing, your millet plants will be very good. The stalks will be big and the leaves will develop properly. And the panicles will be big and seed setting will be very good, more than you would expect, much more than what you were doing before using this improved technique. Now that we've learned about striga trap crops and how to improve intercropping, let's see how weeding is changed through this practice. If you use an erect legume, this makes hoe weeding and animal traction in weed control easier. A creeping legume will start covering the ground and smother most weeds after about six weeks. Especially where striga infestation is high, establish good ground cover with legumes to suppress the development of striga. Legumes branch more in soils that receive compost, so by applying compost you further improve the legume cover. Now that we've learned the importance of improved intercropping, let us remind ourselves of the key lessons. Legumes provide food and fodder and enhance soil fertility. Legumes, cotton and sesame are also trap crops that kill striga seeds present in the soil. By growing them together with cereal crops, you can reduce striga and harvest more from the same field. A legume ground cover also conserves soil humidity and suppresses striga emergence and development. <coughs> By adding compost, legumes branch more and give a better ground cover, further suppressing striga. To free your soil from striga, growing your cereal and trap crops row by row is one of the better options.